What's going on guys? I'm a challenger mid and this is my itemization flowchart for Syndra. For starting items, you're just defining what your game plan is for the most part. If you are playing to bully your lane or you need extra combat stats, D-Ring is the most consistent starting item out of the three options. Tier of the Goddess start is really fantastic for scaling matchups where wave clear and sustain poke is important and you plan on building Seraph second for survivability. Whereas Sapphire Crystal start is great for scaling matchups as well, but you don't need Seraphs and it gives you access to a faster lost chapter. If you plan on building Seraphs second, you'll want to purchase your tier as soon as possible, especially if you went D-Ring start. Otherwise, you're just going to build towards lost chapter for the extra wave clear. If you have extra gold and you need extra survivability, pick up a refillable potion. This is really good against long range poke lanes or just against assassins where you need more room to make mistakes realistically. An extra 200 health goes a long way in those volatile matchups. Dark Seal will always remain the best AP item in the game just because of how gold efficiency works for it. So just purchase this whenever possible if you have an extra 350 gold on reset. In regards to mythics, you kind of only have three options. If you're playing the three or more squishy champions, you're going to build Ludens. It synergizes nicely with her burst playstyle and overall just has the highest win rate. If you're playing into three or more champions that itemize health, build Leandris. Fights last longer against taking your teams and Leandris gives you the most amount of damage over time. It doesn't matter if you're the only source of AP damage because it just is overall going to perform better in those scenarios. And if you're unfortunate enough to be playing versus an Assassin mid and Assassin jungle, this is kind of the only acceptable use case for Crown. Otherwise, you only really need Seraphs to survive against one Assassin, and you kind of just be spending too much money on dead stats at that point. In regards to boots, Sorcerer boots are best in slot. It just gives you the most damage. You're going to build these in about 95% of your games, and then the other 5% is kind of between Lucidity Boots and Mercury Treads. Lucidity Boots is more of a Korean optimization for constant uptime on your spells, which is really good for applying threat. And then Merc Treads is really fantastic for matchups where they have a lot of gank setup, like LeBlanc, Ari, Annie, Zoe. And this is typically a good option if you're also playing against a really heavy CC setup like Leona, Nautilus, Sejuani. And it just gives you a lot more tenacity for that. For second item, there's only really two options. If you need more damage against squishy targets, you build Shadow Flame. If you need more survivability, you build Seraphs. If you are absolutely fed out of your mind, you can upgrade Dark Seal into Mesh Eyes, or you can build into Rabadons. Mesh Eyes is nice because it gives you access to some flat magic pin from the Ludens passive, and it's really, really good for snowballing. The issue of Rabadons as a second item is that it's very unrealistic to recall with 1250 on two different resets. But if you're absolutely fed, it just makes every item after that become infinitely more valuable. For third item, if you need raw damage, you're going to build Rabadons, which again isn't always realistic. Sometimes I'll go Void Staff third just because it is cheaper and easier to itemize. But if you need penetration to counter items like Maw, Witsend, Murktred, or Force of Nature, you're going to have to build Void Staff third. Most champions in the game are going to finish their MR item around 25 minutes. So you're also going to be finishing your third item around 25 minutes, so it just makes sense to build Void Staff in like 90% of situations. If you need survivability against burst damage, champions like Zed, Kiana, Kha'Zix, Ringard, just build Zhonya's. And you can start off with the stopwatch and build towards something else, but then you can just complete the Zhonya's if you end up using it. If you need survivability against heavy engage, against casters like Nautilus, Sejuani, Leona, Ari, you're going to build Banshee's Veil just because it gives you a lot more space to work with because you don't have to worry about your positioning as much. And it just kind of reduces damage if you're in AP matchup as well. For fourth item, if you skipped penetration to build survivability or raw damage, you're going to build the Void Staff here. It's going to be a great value. And if you need raw damage because you've already purchased Void Staff or survivability or even Shadow Flame, then you can just go straight into Rabadons. Typically, you can get away with just having one penetration item, so if you ended up doing Shadow Flame second, you'll get more value from Void Staff fifth later on. Survivability options are just going to remain the same for the rest of this, this guide, pretty much. For fifth item, if you need damage, you build Horizon Focus, because at this point, 10% of whatever your combo is is going to be that much more efficient than everything else. But at this stage of the game, 10% of 3,000 is 300. Early in the game, 10% of 1,500, it's only 150, right? Otherwise, build the relevant survivability item. Consider subscribing if you like the video, thanks.